and welcome to Straight Out of Sixth Grade News. We've got some great segments for you today. Stick around to see some of the greatest segments out there. The first segment is Micah, Colton, Jackson, and Dylan. And they're over there. What to do on a snow day. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fun things to do on a Snow day. I'm Colton Nichols. I'm Rocka Burks. I'm Jackson Reed. I'm Dylan Tompkins. Hey Colton, what are you doing? Playing 2K Mobile. Hmm. It's just like a regular basketball game. You just, whoever scores the most is a winner. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Day to you. Happy birthday. Hey Dylan, what you doing? I'm reading a book. Nice, can I see it? Yeah. Nice. Looking at me like, why do you go hard? It's got them on. Hey Michael, what you doing? I'm doing my schoolwork. I got some really hard pre-algebra homework here. Mm. Hang on, I'm gonna call my friend for help. Hey Colton. Yeah, I need help. What are the answers? Alright, what'd you get for number one? You got one times three? Okay, thank you. Bye. That is not how you should do your schoolwork. Instead, do it on your own. You don't have to let money come between us No, oh, no, they're not even capable Another fun thing you can do on a snow day is play Bing Boozle Okay, I'll spin first Take this out Please give me a break Can you show me each of us? That's the thing That goes for everyone Your uh, Coconut or spoiled stink. milk? That's stink bug. That's stink bug. No, it's not. It moved. It was on here. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, eat. Peach. Spoiled milk. Yes, I got peach. I got peach. Spoiled milk. Oh, cool. This is what most people call the dungeon. It is the lowest part of the building. It is where the science teachers are. It is also where some lockers are. It is and it's where the health room used to be. Now on to an interview from one of the science teachers, Mr. Redwine. What was the first thing that you felt when they said that you're moving into this room? I'm um, just having to pack up all my stuff and get it moved from point A to point B. Other than that, I really didn't think too much about it. Just kind of go with the flow and, you know, it didn't really bother me too much. Say that I dislike about my new room, it is uh, the temperature. It gets really cold in this uh, new room of mine, so that's probably the one thing that I would say that I dislike the most. The library is in the place behind me, close to the spiral stairs in the hallway with the nurse's office. The wooden box isn't a trash can, it's a book return where you place your books. If you go straight out the doors, you should see a long, narrow hallway with no lockers and a bunch of rooms. That's where the nurse's office is. Wow, the school has improved a lot. It's really getting bigger and everything. 
What is this? This just in. There is um, two girls top dancing in the streets of Paris. So let's see those two. Here's Elena and Morgan live on the scene. Elena Shoemate, world renowned news reporter, and this is my assistant, Morgan Houston, who's also a world famous news reporter. We are live on the scene where a street dancer is trying to get money by tap dancing for crowds. There are a lot of people here. This is a crowd about one, of about 150. We will try to get more info, but for now, let's get back to Lily and Morgan and the studio. Wow, that is a huge crowd. That is a huge crowd, Elena and Morgan. Well, they try to get more info. Let's move on to the next segment. Yes, let's. We now have Sophie and Kenzie with the Cat Fashion Show. Hi, my name is Sophie and this is Kenzie. And in our segment, we are going to be showing off our stylish doll. We hope you like it. Hi, this is my dog Barkley, and we will, or he will be trying on some outfits. Um, he is two years old and he is a golden retriever. Um, he was born on January 15th, so a few weeks ago. So, um, I'm that's why I'm going to be dressing him up in his birthday costume that he won his birthday. He'll be having a fashion show. So, yeah. Um, we got him when he was about a few months old, and we got him from a breeder. And yeah, he's very loving. So, yeah, I hope you like it. So, the things I'll be putting on him, he has a bow tie, but I'm not sure where it went. So, he has his birthday. It says, hey, hey, it's my birthday. He has a little bandana. And he has this little crown, and I was like, stuff in it. So yeah, and he's just gonna be putting it on. So, and then he's gonna be sure.
cup of coffee for your head I'll get you up and going out of bed <laughs> And that's all! We hope you enjoyed watching our stylish dogs! Peace! That was a great segment, girls. Let's get to the next segment. We now have Nat, Marin, Sophie, and Kaylin with a chubby bunny competition. Hi, I'm Natalia. Hi, I'm Kaylin. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm Marin, and we're gonna be doing chubby bunny. You fit as much as as much marshmallows as you can until you can't say chubby bunny. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to do. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll sing my own time then this time. Okay, I'm Natalie, that's Hallie. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, today we will be reacting Being to weird laws and then we will be making scenes of them. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but please trust the process. Hello, we are back. We've changed scenery. I don't know if she's having a seizure or not. But, um, so, oh my god, Natalie. Okay, so, you don't say my name on the YouTube. So, apparently, Oh wait, no, there's two. Okay, so I have two. Um, you can't throw rocks at trains in Wisconsin. You can't what? You can't throw rocks at trains in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm so mad. I'm just gonna throw a rock at this train. Hey, did you just throw a rock at the train? You're gonna throw a rock. <laughs> We're going to jail. Did you know that I used to, I tried to have a job as a railroad conductor. They said I needed more training. Do you, I, do I you have one? Okay, so okay. my next, the last laws are in New York, it is illegal for slippers, uh, slippers are not to be worn after 10 p.m. in New York. Wait, what? What if, what if you have them at 10.01 and you take them off at 10.01? Okay, well, uh, that's very weird. <laughs> oh, these slippers are so comfy, but I have to go and water and water my garden. Hey, it's 10.01. You're under arrest for wearing slippers because it could attract vermin because they're smelly and you have a smelly feet. You're what? going to jail. What kind of 
shoes are bananas made out of? Slippers! Uh, it's illegal to keep Christmas decorations up after January 14th? What? Excuse me. So, I guess they buy like Christmas that much. in Maine, by tomorrow, all the Christmas lights have to be down because right now it is January 13th. That is. I guess they don't like Christmas that much. That's dude, so rude. Dude, last I love year, Christmas. Dude, last year my Christmas tree just stayed up like all year. <laughs> okay, well, let's go recreate it. Man, I just love my Christmas tree. What are you doing in my house? So, I needed to take a rest because from all my cop duties. What is this? Is this Christmas decorations? You're not allowed to have Christmas decorations after January 15th and 14th, I think. But anyway, you're under arrest. Yes. Goodbye. Ah, uh, now it's time to talk about how I wash my hair. And that's a wrap. Well, that was a fattening experience. Now let's see what the next segment is. Next up is Natalie C. and Hallie with Talking Weird Laws. Welcome, Welcome to our new show segment. segment. I'm Myla. I'm Natalie. And, and we're, we're doing, doing bizarre, bizarre holidays in February. In February. This is how you celebrate Bubblegum Day. Have bubblegum competitions with your friends and chew bubblegum. Something I don't know to figure. Uh, well, guys, I'm getting emotional. Guys, music. Ah! <laughs> Lila. Oh, hey girl, what's up? The birds. We have to feed them. February 12th, National Lost a Penny Day, and Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Happy birthday, here's your penny. Thank you. Well, I guess I really am famous. I lost penny. I don't know what to do. Here's funny. Oh, this, this is not, oh. Find all the pennies you can as a challenge and appreciate Abraham Lincoln. Lila. Lila. Lila, we're recording. Hi. We're recording. Move! That was our new show segment. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! Those were some weird laws. Those sure were. Now on to the next segment, which will be the last one for today. How are you feeling? Everybody is watching and cheering and you miss a shot. Well, sometimes I'll, I'll get upset about it, but I try not to get upset about it because if it gets in my head, it'll make me play bad and I'll throw a bit on the court and look weird. Like a baby. If you could pick any NBA player on your team, who would you pick? Well, by far, Steph Curry, he's my favorite player. I've loved him since I was four. One of the most points I've ever scored in a game. Uh, I'm pretty sure I scored like eight. I'm not, I'm not a good scorer. One of the best body parts player. Well, you gotta be a leader, so you gotta know how to separate the two when you fight. And you don't have to score a lot. You can pass, you can play defense. Who's your favorite basketball player? My favorite basketball player, even though I don't watch it very much, is Luka Doncic, the point guard for the Mavericks. I just like how he plays and how good he is. Are you happy with this season so far? Yeah, with just I think we've played really well, and obviously we've lost some games, 
but they have been teams that are better than us and that we stuck with them the whole way through. And just overall, I am pretty happy with the season so far. What were your goals for the season? To get better at dribbling, offense, defense, and shooting. What do you believe one of your weaknesses and what are you doing to improve it? Uh, one of my weaknesses is missing a lot of shots, so I need to practice on getting them out. What do you believe one of your weaknesses and what are you doing to improve it? Uh, I don't know. What advice would you give to someone wanting to play basketball? Uh, first of all, they should give a lot of effort, try hard, listen to the coach. They should just go the basic stuff. Like, quit! What advice would you give to someone wanting to play basketball? First of all, they should be respectful. What is that? I can't relax. <laughs> Are you happy with this season too? It depends on what. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But here's my. No <laughs> Thank you for watching our new show. I'm a frog. Do 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 do. I'm a frog. Do 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 do. I'm a frog. Do 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 do